hypothetically, if you were to go on a date with me, describe the perfect date. <laughs> hey, ain't my questions. Who 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 said this? Someone at my school. <laughs> okay. Um. Fan Expo. <laughs> Ah, nice. <laughs> April 23rd. Have you seen that movie? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a reference, Sean. You should watch the movie. I think it's called Miss Congeniality. Describe your perfect date. It's a tough one. <laughs> I'd have to say April 25th, because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. <laughs> Was 7-Eleven an inside job? Tough question. I, I think so. I think 7-Eleven was an inside job. Cool. Um, yeah, 7-Eleven. Bush did 7-Eleven. Oof. 7-Eleven is yeah. a place. It's a store. Hey, these ain't my questions. Meant, I think they meant 9-Eleven. These ain't my questions. <laughs> I think they meant 9-Eleven and was it an inside job? Um. Do we, do we no. No? I don't think it was. Okay. Well, no, I don't think it was. <laughs> okay. 7-Eleven? It's 9-Eleven. 7-Eleven is a shop. Yes, I think we all know what 7-Eleven is. 7-Eleven. What's 7-Eleven? I don't know. 7-Eleven okay, is a convenience store yeah. that sells. 7-Eleven yeah. is a convenience store. Hey, 9 I, did, I did not write these questions. 9 11 is, is the terrorist. Was 7 11 inside job? Were you present? Um, Were you there? Yeah, I was definitely there. Yeah, I I was I was the Twin Tower, and I can prove that it was an inside job, okay? Cool. Are we inside the simulation? Honestly, I think I think the government control government controls us, and I think we are an inside. A simulation. You think the government controls us? Yeah. Just a... Probably. Yeah, we really? can be inside the matrix right now. Well, there's no true way of knowing. Like, there is never gonna be a way for me to know if this is reality or not. Hmm. It's possible, I guess. I don't know. I've never watched the matrix, so I don't really know any of that stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? I actually, like, never really thought of that and never like thought that was true but i have a friend and she like really thinks that's true and sometimes she has some pretty good points so now i'm questioning it I'm questioning reality yeah okay um i would like to think no but we very well could be very i've seen well way and be. read way too much science fiction you know musks think so <laughs> Well, you know, you never know. <laughs> um, yes, but the people that we're being run by in a simulation are also in a simulation. Um, so we're like two levels into the simulation. The who runs the ultimate simulation? The Obamoids. Ah, makes sense. In the hypothetical movie, Alien vs. Predator vs. the Brown vs. the Board of Education, who would win? Alien. Why? Okay, okay, because they're okay, just okay. so strong, and, you know, they can spread level. very okay, easily. <laughs> Predator, I don't know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the brown boys. The brown, brown boy gang. <laughs> All right. Probably brown boys. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What? Why would the brown one? the most equipped for this kind of fight. What, what about the Board of Education? No, no. Why, why would they win? I mean, like, the TDSB doesn't shut down until, unless the world ends, so that's something. I guess, yeah, I guess you got me there. When? Yes. The alien. Why the alien? Because we don't know what aliens have. They could have, like, superpowers. Well, the TDSB never shut down until the, if the, unless the world ends, so... So the aliens could probably end the world, and there you go. <laughs> Definitely the brown. The brown. Why the brown? Why? Because black people are just better. <laughs> Did you just say black people are better? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Racist. Still no. Race. Okay. Okay. If I say something up. bad about black people, it's racist. So if I say something good about black people, it must not be racist. The <laughs> opposite. Retarded. Good is the opposite yeah, of bad. Sure. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, if I compliment them, you it's, so it's anti-racist. No. 
Let's talk to the kind of traffic. I don't, I don't know what to say. Okay, between alien and predator, um, it depends on the environment. I mean, how about this board of education? Well, are they given any special tools, or is it just like? I mean, the TSP doesn't shut down unless the world ends. So. so Pretty much, who's gonna win? A group, yes. of, a group of normal people with no fighting experience, or two super aliens who are like genetically predestined to kill everything. Not all aliens kill people. How do you know all aliens? The xenomorphs and the aliens from uh, Predator kill people. They're saying there's not no nice aliens. The aliens from no, Simpsons are nice. I'm saying no They're nice aliens. I'm not talking about Kang and whatever the other one is like Kodak Black or whatever. <laughs> The xenomorphs from Aliens would kill the TDSV board, and so would the Predator. Fair enough, fair enough. Actually, the Predator wouldn't kill them if they were unarmed. Really? Yeah. The predator has morals? Some, yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. The Board of Education? Why? Because all of the striking they're doing? <laughs> okay. You dumb. 800,000 people died in the U.S. last year due to heart disease related to meat consumption. Oh, What's your favorite burger joint? <laughs> A&W or Five Guys. Nice. I'm vegetarian, but A&W has a really good Beyond Meat burger. Out of all the Beyond Meat burgers, A&W is the best. I'd say so, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, probably. <laughs> South Street or not? South Street. No, 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 no. Burger Priest. Burgers Priest. Burgers ah. Priest. I mean, A and W's all right. I would say Johnny's Hamburgers. John uh, Five Guys. I'm a pescatarian. I don't eat meat. It's basically like you have a diet like a vegetarian, with the exception of seafood. So I also eat. Mm. But like I don't Most of my diet's vegetarian But I occasionally have seafood So no I don't eat um, Burgers But I during the summer I tried a few Beyond Burgers I don't know if you've heard of those yeah. and, then, and then I stopped eating Because I had like Two during the summer And then I don't know, I'm sort of a bit iffy around Beyond Burgers because of all of wow. the process. They put in, Aww. like, these ingredients, and we don't know more about the ingredients, so I'm just going to play it safe for now and not eat it. Well, well, of course, it's a Beyond Meat Burger at A&W. A&W? <laughs> That's very popular. <laughs> no, I, like, actually, you know what? I'm pretty open with my burger joints, as long as it's a good burger. The but I don't like McDonald's and I don't really like Harvey's. I need a little more. Really? Upscale. You don't like Harvey's? Burgers? Harvey's is good, but you know, you get sick of it. If you want a real taste, you gotta go and spend a little bit more, unfortunately. Do you have a preferred place of. Oh my god, burgers? preferred? Preferred. My goodness. Where do I like the burgers a lot? I don't know. I just. I like them if they have. I like really good pickles on my burger, so wherever they can serve that. Ah, that's true. <laughs> so yeah, that was the very, very last school day of this entire decade. Kind of crazy to think about. So much have happened in this past decade. It's kind of crazy that we're at the end of it. But tonight, I will talk to one more person. She is very special because she's from Kingston. And according to this dumb guy... Kingston is the capital of Trashville. Let me tell you. My mom lived in Kingston and she even she knows. Like Queens is nice. Queens is nice. That is true. Queens is a diamond in the rough. Damn. You know like you know a really ugly woman that got married one time when she was like 20 and she has a nice diamond ring? Queens is a diamond ring and the saggy oldness is <laughs> Kingston. Get me to the so I thought it'd be nice to get the perspective of someone who's actually lives there. So, so you're from Kingston, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say Kingston is not a great city because Kingston Penitentiary was once opened there. So can you, can you talk about the correlation between living, the Kingston Penitentiary and living in Kingston? Do you think it makes a difference that a maximum per maximum security prison was once opened there um 
honestly, there's no difference. Like, to be honest, a lot of Kingstonians are proud that we have a historic penitentiary because it makes us unique and different. And in it's fact, we get a lot of security penitentiary. <laughs> it's not a good thing. <laughs> I, I mean, like, okay, true, but we have like a history in that. It's rich in history, and we have a lot of tourists that come in during the summer. And this is, apparently, this is, a friend told me this, apparently, that one of the uh, prisoners that were once locked up in Kingston Penitentiary still lives in Kingston. She, like, rapes a bunch of kids, and she still is, like, seen around schools dropping her kids off and stuff. Is that Carla? Carla Hamol- Hamolka? I do not know. She she wasn't in the Kingston Penitentiary, right? Didn't the Kingston Penitentiary close? Like six years ago. Okay. It's been six years that it closed, which is interesting. But. Yeah. About the woman. There's always going to be wrong people wherever you are. And it doesn't, like, just because Kingston has a maximum penitentiary doesn't make Kingston a bad city. It makes it a dangerous city. <laughs> oh, you're talking about it being dangerous? Do you think it makes it more dangerous? We have low, like, homicidal rates. Mm, that's true, too. Yeah, we're pretty safe, to be honest. The that's only crisis... <laughs> The only crisis that Kingston is having right now is the opioid, o- opioids and the use of drugs that's going around. Really? In Kingston? Yeah, o- o- opioids, yeah. Hmm. Huh. I didn't hear about that. Interesting. I don't know. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, then. That was all of it? That's okay. it. Okay. All right, thanks for your time. All right, well, thanks for your time. All right, thanks for your time. No problem. Thanks, John. All right, well, thank you for your time. It's, oh, no problem. All right, well, thanks for your time. All right. Okay, thanks for your time. All right, thanks, John. All right, All right thanks for your time. No problem. Have a, have a good break, yeah, everyone. See you next- no problem. All right, see you next decade. Yep, have a good break. See you next decade. See you next decade. Have a good New Year. Have a great break. Thank you. And thank you for the next decade. decade. Have a great decade. (laughs) See you next decade. See you next decade. (laughs) See you next decade. Yep. See you next decade. (laughs) See you next decade. Bye. Next decade. Well, hello, my dudes. And it was nice being in your video. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward, but... Alright, see you next decade. Bye! Next really, uh, all I want is you for Christmas. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, what are your song. thoughts on the recent teacher strikes? I don't know, what are your thoughts on the recent teacher strikes? Yeah, I really just want to hear you talk, Sean. Uh, I think James, I'm... James, get out of I think I'm on the teacher side. I think what they're asking Why this time not? is... I think they're reasonable. I'm asking for smaller... Do you know what their arguments are? I think they're asking for, like, smaller... Because the government right now, they want to increase class sizes to, like, 40 and... Well, no, they want to make they too many for e-courses. They took out the, the class size cap. Okay, okay next question. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 shot, shot. And you could fuck any girl. <laughs> yeah. Any girl. Actually, no. Any girl in our school. Who would it be? That's more personal. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, I am find, not... Who I... do you find extremely attractive? Miss Kelly? <laughs> no! Who's extremely attractive? Yeah, what do you think? Who is extremely like, attractive? Who do you want to have coitus with? Do I want to answer? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you have to answer. That's how Why? the Q&A works. Hmm. I'm thinking of actually the answer. Just answer, man. Do you have an answer in mind? Yes. Then just say I'm not sure I want to answer. That's <laughs> us. You should answer now. I'm not sure I should. Sean. Answer the question, don't worry. Answer the question, bro. We won't, we won't. I am worried. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, give us the initials. It, yeah, initials. That, First that's name. one. That's There's one. two initials. <laughs> two. Need two. Alright. <coughs> Let me clear my throat.
Yeah, there's. <laughs> you broke <Yeah>. my microphone. <laughs> uh, wait, what was the question again? Bearage is the best. Kingston is the capital of Trashville. Let me tell you. My mom lived in Kingston, and she even she knows like. Queens is nice. Queens is nice. That is true. Queens is a diamond in the rough. You know, like, you know a really ugly woman that got married one time when she was like 20 and she has a nice diamond ring? Queens is a diamond ring and the saggy oldness is Kingston. Get me to the